Well, hello there. Welcome once more to Quantura's Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, I would like to say a very warm okraba to you. Today we are just going to be making something very simple, but still delicious. Trust me, very simple, but amazingly delicious. We are making some pasta sauce and some spaghetti. So just spaghetti and pasta sauce, but we are not even making the sauce from scratch. We are just going to be using pasta sauce from the jar but we are really going to jazz it up okay and so I have here some garlic and onions and I'm just dicing my garlic and then I'll chop up half of my onion and that is what we are going to use to prepare this delicious but very simple sauce so I have here my saucepan this is what I'm going to be making my sauce in and I'm just going to right away add in some olive oil, about three tablespoons of olive oil. And whilst I'm heating up my oil, I'm also going to set my pot on fire to cook my spaghetti. This is a quick, very quick, typically 30 minute dinner. You know, on a busy day, you will easily whip this up in no time. And I have here my garlic in my oil now, and I'm just going to let this brown up a little bit, you know, and then I'll add my uh, onions to it so at this point my garlic has toasted enough and it is time for me to just add in my onions it is just infused its sweet delicious aromas into the oil and now the onion just comes in and I'm just gonna cook this until it sweats a little bit and then I'll add my ground beef So this is uh, grass-fed beef and that is, you know, it's a lot more flavorful and so every now and then I just get that, especially when you want to make a quick, very simple meal like this, you know, just because we didn't go out to eat something like this, I, I would love to eat in an Italian restaurant, but you can do that, I mean, not just because of what is happening, but it's just so hard sometimes to go to the restaurant with these kids and all the drama. So I would rather just have something like this at home. So anyway, I've thrown in my block, if I may say so, of um, ground beef in here. And I'm just trying to uh, mash it up into my um, onion blend and onion and garlic blend to get it into be, you know, little clumps, which is not easy. <laughs> Thank God I didn't break that spoon. But yeah, so I'm just pressing on it and then I will stir just like this and then Eventually I get it. Once it starts cooking, it's a little bit easier for you to get it to mix or to disintegrate, whichever way you want to call it. So I'm just adding some salt in here and some black pepper, just freshly ground peppers in here. And yes, all that flavor fresh in there is just amazing. And now I'm just going to stir this and allow this to cook through by covering it for about uh, five minutes on low heat. And that should do the magic. So whilst that is doing, I'm just going to go ahead and salt my um, water for the spaghetti. And of course, in cooking your spaghetti, you want your water to be boiling so you get it to cook perfectly, beautifully. Oh, Talia. Because you want that oil to help so that they don't stick together and be like a glob of something that you just can't even picture. So salt, a, a little bit of oil in boiling water, and then you put in your spaghetti. Whether you want to break it or you just want to throw everything in here just like this. And of course, we are going to stir it because we don't want it to be, like I said, one big glob. And that is what will happen if we don't stir it, especially when it boils over a little bit and the pasta is soft enough. A quick stir makes it all just cook to be separate and just beautiful. So I'm going to just go ahead and cover this and let it boil. And whilst it's boiling, I'm checking on my ground beef. And at this point, it is browning up beautifully. It smells so good, like grass-fed beef or, or lamb, whatever. <laughs> I mean, that is how it's supposed to be. These animals are supposed to be fed with grass, but things have changed so much. But this, oh my God, it smells so good. 
amazing so it is cooked almost to perfection I still have some uh, raw bits in there so I'm just going to let it cook another two minutes uh, uncovered and be stirring until every part of the raw meat is cooked and then we'll just add our sauce and that is how simple this is really very simple very simple you start cooking your sauce and your spaghetti almost at the same time so my meat has browned up everywhere I don't think I see any uh, raw meat in here at this point and I'm just adding in my pasta sauce and it's just a whole bottle of the sauce and this is a good brand so um, this is just gonna be I know delicious <laughs> can Guanchua ever stop saying that delicious delicious that's how my husband te he teases me these days. Delicious. Delish. Yummy. Well, it is delicious. It is yummy. <laughs> Very simple. But, yes, so good. So I'm just going to stir this and let everything cook on a very, very low heat just to simmer whilst we wait for our spaghetti to be done. And, of course, we want to cook some vegetables. I also intend to put in just a little bit of um, basil in here. Even though it says on the jar there is basil, but a little bit of fresh basil, you know, jazzes things up a little bit. So nothing fancy. I'm just going to take off the leaves from the branches. And these are all the, almost all the basil that I have in my backyard coming back from last year. And so, yeah. I could pretty much add a little bit more if I had, but I don't have that much. So you can go ahead and add as much basil as you want. And I'm just going to chop this up and into the sauce it goes just to bring a little bit more flavor and color into it. And our sauce is done at this point. I'm just going to stir this, let it cook for about an extra minute. And we're done. Really very simple, but Trust me, this is delicious. This is delicious. This reminds me back in the day when I used to do home care and I'll make this for my patient and his son came to visit and he's like, he called his siblings and was like, you should see the gourmet meal she's making for mom. Like, I was like, I'm fresh. I'm like, what? Gourmet meal, really? This is like so simple. This is like no sweat. So anyway, just like that, our sauce is done. I'm going to turn it off and focus on getting my broccoli ready for the dinner. And this broccoli has been in my fridge for over a week, almost 10 days, I should say at least. And so of course you can see the color is changing, but of course I'm not gonna go out. When I was um, trying to get everything in my house, I got this and I was hoping to uh, make something with it right away, but I've always had other plans, you know. I know a lot of you can relate. You get the vegetables, certain grocery items, even some of times the fruit, and you let it sit in the fridge every day. You feel like at this point, I should just put it in the freezer before it starts turning color, starts going bad. I'm like, oh no, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll, I'll make something fresh with it tomorrow. And before you know, <laughs> you have something like this, but this is still good. And of course, I'm not gonna go out just to get broccoli, especially now. So we are going to make do with this and cook it. So I've washed it twice and now I'm going to wash it a third time, adding some salt to it just to make sure it is as clean as you can. So at this point, I think my broccoli is as clean as can be and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it up. And I'm going to add my stock to it. Feel free to throw it away if that's what you prefer, but I like to eat it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that and cut up everything. And right now our spaghetti is all cooked perfectly al dente as they would say. And so I'm just going to go ahead and turn this into a colander to strain it. And then I'll make my broccoli and dinner will be about ready. My broccoli I just sauteed my garlic the remaining garlic 
uh, in about a teaspoon of olive oil. Added in my broccoli, some salt and pepper. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some water to this. Just about three tablespoons of water, if not less. And that is just to help give it a little bit of steam to cook. I'm not really boiling or anything. This is more like steaming. And that is it. Simple. And so I'm going to add just a little bit more water here. Cover. And let this cook for about four minutes. And that's basically all it takes. In, in about six minutes, the broccoli is done. I mean, from start to finish. Very, very simple. So whilst this is cooking, I'm just gonna go ahead and chop a little bit of parsley. I have some garlic bread, and I just want to add some parsley on it for color. Uh, I bought the bread, you know, already made garlic bread from the store. I had no bread, but my Ghana sugar bread, if I have it, always works so amazing uh, in making garlic bread. Just spread some butter with garlic, you know, minced garlic and some parsley, or you could even just chop your parsley and garlic and a little bit of olive oil and just drop it on your bread and toast it. So this is all the parsley I'm gonna use just a little bit. And I check on my broccoli. It is totally good now. Remember, we're just steaming it. We don't want to overcook it. So this is beautiful. And I'm gonna turn off the heat now. done smells delicious it tastes good like really I know there's not much to it but it tastes amazing and now I have my garlic bread here and I'm just going to cut about a half of it and instead of just taking a slice and then having the butter exposed I just cut into it so I cut half of it open it up and I'm just applying my parsley my uh chopped parsley onto it and then I'll use a knife to spread this all over. So there we go. Just to make sure it sticks in with the butter and it doesn't just come off or fall off right away. Do that to the other half. And I already have my oven preheated, same 350 degrees. I'm just gonna put it in for about five to seven minutes, just so it gets a little bit crispy and the butter melts. And whilst it's toasting, I'm just going to grate some cheese, some Parmesan cheese, you know, Parmesan cheese on your pasta dish. So uh, It's so good. Yeah. And since a lot of you have been asking me about my infused water, I decided to just throw this in here real quickly. So I have some strawberry. I just cut off the heads. Everything is washed already and I've sliced them. I'm just pulling some uh, mint of the branches and I've also cut up some cucumbers. So all these go in here. I add some ice and water and let it sit for a while. And that is it, your infused water. So I've been making a lot more of this um, with different kinds of fruit and vegetables and of course herbs and I've been really, really drinking a lot more and enjoying my water. And it's really good for you. So try that if you may. And dinner is ready. So everything is coming to the table now and we are about to just sit and have this simple pasta dish. But trust me, this is good. Broccoli. And last but not the least, our garlic bread. Just beautiful, right? And Ivana, she can't help herself. She loves bread and I don't even know why she likes this. But she does. She normally likes just everything soft. And this is a little bit crispy, but she really enjoys it. So definitely a winner. Very much so. <laughs> anyway, let me serve some yumminess here. Some sauce. And of course, be generous on that sauce. <laughs> I am. I'm always. Some broccoli will go on the side. Because we try to eat our veggies. <laughs> and of course, some of that grated cheese to top it off. Just delicious, delicious. 
I really hope you are able to try this. I know you will love it. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen and thank you, thank you so much for your love and support. Continue to share my videos and tell your friends and family about Quanchua's Kitchen. And until I come your way next time with something delicious, be loving, be kind, be happy.